Hi everyone. So today I'm actually going to be talking about this book that I've had in front of me. So I'll start off by saying that Woolly Steph here on YouTube, I'll leave her link in the description below, is running an art club, a um, journaling, an art journaling, art, um, an art journaling club that you can take part in. Let me put my teeth back in. That you can take part in. You don't have to be, you could be at any level. Um, I'm not great at, I don't believe I'm great at art. I'm not an exact um, trained artist or anything like that. But I do enjoy, um, yeah, I just enjoy painting and things like that. And anything crafty, art and craft, I love to get my hands involved. So this is a book that I made. I actually, the beginning of 2020, I had decided to do some art journaling and yeah 2020 hit and you everyone knows what happened in 2020 and so that kind of got put to the side but woolly steph has actually come up with this lovely idea and i really wanted to take part so i thought it was a good opportunity to back this lovely book that i made i'm really happy with it it brings me joy every time i look at it so let me jump into how i made it so for the art club um, I believe they were asked to make an album or a kind of journal book to hold all their art in. Um, so you can go over to her page. I will actually link that. Um, I think I'd be able to link that down below as well so that you guys can see it. But I already had this book made. It's again made, again made from my most favourite thing, Amazon packaging. So you can even see the top of the envelope here, this flap. I've decoupaged this paper on here i've used a bit of tissue paper as well that you can see at the at the bottom and then i have used some mod podge to decoupage this on some actually this is matte mod podge and then i've just used some different strings that i've used to actually bind my sheets on and i've just made them extra long so that i can wrap it around and close my book and I thought that was extra super cute. I really like that and used colours that match with the papers. I haven't actually got a title on this book yet. So I actually can put Woolly Steph's Art Club. I'm not sure whether I'll use some alpha stickers or if I will use a um, some stamps, some letter stamps. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about the front cover yet. But um, yeah, maybe I'll do it as we go along and I'll get some inspiration. So inside... I've just again used the um, decoupage papers with some tissue paper. I just really love the way that it came out just to cover the inside. And then I've already started, guys, so don't look at this. <laughs> I've started my first prompt. And we'll get into that in a second. So I've just cut some mixed media paper here, guys. It's not the best. I actually wanted this to look quite rustic and um, homemade, put together. And I have um, three inserts in this book. Um, the first two are mixed media white paper and they have been stitched in. I think, is this called pamphlet stitch? I'm not sure guys. So I've stitched those in with some, um, some string there. And then the second one is stitched in with this yellow string. And then at the back, I have some black, I think this is just black card stock. I don't think it's mixed media. I just think it's black card stock. And that was just to give me a variety and just to use different textures and just see how different things come out on black paper. That was the idea behind that. And I used some pink string just to um, stitch that in again. And then on the back page, I've got some more decoupage and on the back. Now I know this is not everybody's cup of tea probably, um, but I absolutely love it. I find it so inspiring to look at. And yeah, I just love, love, love how this has come together. So thank you for watching. If you're interested in the art journal, we'll be all be using, I believe, a hashtag. And you'll be able to click that and you'll be able to see all the videos of the people who are taking part. Guys, thank you for listen, listening to me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for some more fun crafting. Bye.